Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today I'm going to show you how to download, install and get shaders for Minecraft Java Edition. Now this is the latest update which is 1.17.1 and I'm going to show you how you can actually download and install shader packs for the latest version of Minecraft which is 1.17.1 and as you can see on my screen now I am using a shader pack and also I am running the latest version of Minecraft if you can see on the top left over there it says Minecraft version 1.17.1. I'm going to show you guys that when I go to my option settings and I click on video settings, there is a section here which says shader packs and I've got the Silders Vibrant Shaders version 1.29 extreme version installed as you can see here. So I'm just going to show you a bit of gameplay today and then I'm going to show you guys how you can enable shaders for your Minecraft game version 1.17.1. All right, so if you guys can see now, Everything just looks so much nicer with the shaders turned on. You can see that we've got the cool looking reflective water there. We've got the cool clouds over there as you can see. And we've also got some nice sun effects going on here. So if you guys can see there, we've got the rounded sun and we've got the sun's rays coming in behind the trees as you guys can see over there. And it just looks so cool. I think still just shaders is one of the best shaders I've used and it's definitely in one of my top three shader pack reviews. As you guys can see, we've got the really nice looking water there. I'm also using a resource pack called Urban in case you guys are wondering why the grass looks different. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description for all of the downloads that I'm gonna show you guys today. And then you can just go to the description and download them. You don't have to go around searching for them. But yeah, if you guys can see that, it just looks completely amazing compared to the default game. So if I go to options, video settings, shader packs, if I turn these shaders off, apply, you can see the major difference there. This is the default Minecraft game, but when I turn it back on, and I'll show you guys what application we'll be using today to get the shader packs installed and working for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1. At the moment, Optifine is in the preview build and the current version of Optifine, which is pre-25, unfortunately, it does not work properly with version 1.17.1 of Minecraft. So we're going to use another application, which is called Iris Shaders. And it's a really easy to use application. It's just a one install method and you can start using the shaders. And as you can see in the menu options here, it's really simple. And they also give you some other cool menu options here as well. And I think it's really nicely laid out as well. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to show you how to download all of this and then how to install the shaders and get the shader packs running for your Minecraft Java edition version 1.17.1. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure that we've got the latest version of Java installed on our PC because we are going to use Java to actually install Iris shaders because it does come in a jar file. And by having the latest version of Java, we can be sure that everything's going to go smoothly for the installation. So let's open up our internet browser. And just start typing in java.com and if we just click on the java download link here agree and start free download and it should start downloading for you okay so i'm going to run this file that's just downloaded let's close this down and i'm going to click on install and i'm going to come back here when it's finished installing all right so as you guys can see it now says you have successfully installed java so you should see this message once java is completely installed so let's click on the close button to close that down let's open up our internet browser again and now we're going to download iris shaders so let's start downloading that let's start typing in iris shaders i've already got that saved in my search bar let's click on enter and the link we need to go to is irisshaders.net so let's click on that and let me just quickly show you guys for optifine what i mean by the update so if we go to optifine's website click on downloads as you guys can see for version 1.17 they only have the preview version they haven't actually got an update for version 1.17.1 the pre-25 will only work with the version 1.17. So if you guys want to actually play with Optifine, that's completely fine. But just bear in mind that you will only be able to play in a world up to 1.17. If you play on a world for 1.17.1, it may come up with a warning message. So I do recommend that we go with the Iris Shader option for now. Okay, so back to the Iris Shaders website. If we click on download now, you will see this link here that says download universal jar so let's click on this and as you guys can see it's a very small file it's only 800 kilobytes and it's already downloaded that 
Okay, let's close this down. Now we're going to download the shader pack. So in the search bar, if you just type in Silders Shaders. And again, if we go to the link, which is sildersshaders.github.io, let's click on this and go to that link. And uh, this is the main author's website. And let's go to the download section. And as I showed you earlier, I was using the Vibrant Shaders version 1.29 Extreme Volumetric Lighting Edition. So I'm going to download this again. Let's wait for that to finish the wait timer there. All right, now let's go back. I'm also going to download the light version. Now, some of you might not have a very powerful PC or you might be on a laptop, so you may not have a graphics card that can handle all of those graphics. So we're going to download the light version as well so I can show you guys what the difference is as well in the light version and the extreme version. All right, so that's downloaded all of those files. Let's close these down. And yeah, as I mentioned earlier, depending on your PC and your computer setup, you can go ahead and download all of these different versions. So light, medium, high, high, motion blur, extreme, and extreme volumetric lighting. Just test them out on your system and see how they perform. You can also go ahead and download this version, which is Silda's enhanced default. If your PC is not up to standard, but just bear in mind, you won't get to see all those cool reflections and stuff that's happening with the vibrant shaders. Okay, so let's close all of this down and let's go to our desktop. All right, so I've placed all the downloaded files onto my desktop. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our Minecraft game is actually on the latest version. So if you open up your Minecraft launcher and just wait for that to load, as you guys can see, I am on the latest release, 1.17.1. .1. If you don't see that, you will, you will have to click on play to force it to download the latest update. You can also go to installations, click on new installation over here, and then for the version, you can just select the release 1.17.1, the latest release, and then give it a name and then click on create down here. It should install the 1.17.1 version for you. All right, so let's close this down. Now we're going to go ahead and install Iris shaders. So as you can see, I've got the Iris installer over here. And because we've got the latest version of Java installed, I'm going to right click on this file. I'm going to select over where it says open with. I'm going to select Java platform SE binary. Let's wait for that to load up the installer. Now, if you don't have the latest version of Java installed or you don't have Java installed at all, you won't be able to do this and it's going to cause a lot of problems. So I highly recommend that you download and install the latest version of Java just to make your lives so much easier. All right. So as you guys can see, I've got the Iris installer open here for the edition. You can't actually select anything. So it says Iris and Sodium. So let's leave that as it is. And for the game version, we can see that we now have the option to select 1.17.1, which is really cool because the update only came out a few days ago and they've already updated the Irish shaders. So this is why I like Irish shaders because they are up to date and they like to keep the application up to date. Okay, so the install directory will be the default Minecraft install directory. If you have installed it elsewhere, you can click that and then search for it individually. For use custom loader, just keep that ticked because it is recommended and then just click on the install button over here wait for that to download and as you can see it says installation succeeded so we're going to close this down and we're going to move this file out of the way now and as you guys can see I've got the Silders vibrant shaders the extreme version and the light version over here so I'm going to open up the Minecraft launcher again and immediately you will notice that it should say iris and sodium the left drop down here also, if we click on the installations tab here, you will see Iris and Sodium. It also appears in this list as well. And it will say it's version up to 1.17.1. And what we're going to do now, we're going to place the shader pack files into the shader packs folder. So if we just hover over any or one of these and click on the folder icon here, which you guys can see, and just open one of these folder icons. Let's close down the installer. And this is the default Minecraft directory. And in that directory, if we look for a folder which says shader packs, and if you guys haven't got this shader packs folder, what you need to do is just right click on an empty space, go to new and then select folder, and then rename that folder to shader pack as it shows over here. Okay, so if we just double click the shader packs folder, we are now in the shader packs folder. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to highlight the Silders Vibrant Shader files and put them in the shader packs folder. Now, do 
bear in mind that the shader pack file is always going to be in a zip format. So if you have any other formats, they're probably not the shader pack files that we need. So it should say it still does vibrant shaders and then give you the version and then the type of the shader pack file and then it should say .zip. Okay, so now that we've got both shader pack files in the shader packs folder, I'm going to close this down. I'm going to open up the launcher again. Okay, so I'm going to go back to installations and where it says Iris and Sodium, I'm going to click on the play button over here. Now, you can also go to the play section and making sure that Iris and Sodium is selected on the left here, bottom left, we can click on the play button here as well. Let's go ahead and click on play. All right, so now the game is loaded, you can see we are in version 1.17.1. At the bottom left there, it should also say Minecraft 1.17.1 slash Fabric modded. And if we go to the options section here, click on video settings, we will see that this layout is different to what the normal layout is in the default game. We click on shader packs. Now we do have the Silders shaders showing up here and it says shaders are enabled. And if we just click on the light version for now, select that and click on apply, it's going to apply that version of the shader pack to the Minecraft game. Click on done, click on close, done again. We're going to create a new world. So let's go to single player. I'm going to click on create new world. I'm going to rename this anything. And then I'm going to select the default settings, which is the game mode survival and default difficulty, which is the normal one. I'm going to click on create new world. And let's wait for that to load up. And you guys will notice that it will load up the game into the shader pack version and it will display everything that looks really nice in the game. So let's wait for that to load up now. And as you guys can see, I'm now running this with the light version of Silda's shader packs. And you can see we've got the sun's reflection there. We've got the water graphics there that look different. And then we've got the shadows as well that are happening out there. Do bear in mind, this is the light version of the game. Now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna enable the other extreme version just to show you the difference. Go to video settings, click on shader packs, and I'm gonna click on the extreme version, click on apply. And as you guys can see, it's actually changing it in the background. So I can actually see the difference that's happening in the background. I don't have to go back into the game. So I'm gonna click on light, click on apply. You can see the water graphics are different there. So let's close that down, click on done. So you can see now that I'm running the extreme version, which looks really nice as well. So yeah, this is how we can install the shader packs for Minecraft version 1.17.1 and we can get the shader packs installed and if any of you have just recently upgraded your version of Minecraft to version 1.17.1 and have been wondering how do I get the shaders working with it this is one option so just download the iris shaders pack and then download the shaders that you want place them in the shader packs folder and then you can start playing with it and as you guys can see everything just looks so much nicer Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about the shader pack or the whole process you've seen today, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, please do let me know what is your favorite shader pack? What do you like to play with? And also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.